To start with, I'm using a 20 watt solar panel. Hang on, that's before I, before I put that out there, uh, which which runs through the uh, the uh, charge controller unit here, down through some fuses, and then onto the battery, uh, which is at the moment with the lights. I've got both the uh, both the lights on at the moment, and that's. 11.9, 11.8 volts, which is being produced. You've got a red light, which means it's below charge. So what I'll do is I'll stick my solar panel outside in just daylight for the moment. Let's just stick it there so the daylight's getting it for the moment. No sunlight. And it's gone up to 11.7. Right, and now what I'll do now, or 11. Point, well, you see it's, 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 it's charging. 11, 9, 12. And that's just, that's not even in the sunlight. So that's, uh, that's not even running the battery down now with the lights on in here. I'll just turn them off, turn them both off, you don't really need them during the day unless you're doing something on the on the bench there. Well, we've got 2.38, is that going up? 2.39, yeah that's still going up, charge controller still charging, or is it showing under charge? Alright, let me uh, Use my trusty stool there and put the solar panel on the garage roof in the sunlight, and we'll see what the uh, what the voltage is then. So that's 12.59, nearly 12.6 volts, and, and according to this, that's um, almost fully charged, I suppose. Twelve point six one. So it's still going up. It goes up pretty quick. Now, if I wanted to charge the remote power supply, now all I do is just clamp those crocodile clips onto these two terminals, and it will charge both batteries at the same time. So, as long as I'm round here on a sunny day, it's all good. Otherwise, all I do is say. Uh, I'll just take the battery, you know, if, it, if the battery runs that low, then I'll just take it around the house and put it charge overnight and then bring it back. And that'll last a full charged battery without being um, charged on the solar panel. will probably last me several weeks. So, and there you have it. That's me uh, lighting setup. That one underneath. This one down here. I use that for when I work on the bike on, at night, and then I need to see at the side of the bike, underneath the bike. Then I use this one here, and that lights the whole side of the bike up, which is well handy. Well handy. I suppose if I uh, got a bigger battery or linked the two batteries. And got an uh, inverter, I could probably run uh, 240 volts off around here. That's 263 now, it's 264. It charges up pretty pretty quick. Don't hang about. So, there you have it. Hope that helps.
and I'll catch you later. See ya. Oh yeah, before I go, check this out. Check this baby out. I'll put it all together now. Put a battery on it because I want to take it for a I want to take it for a uh, MOT tomorrow if I can. And uh, it seems to be all good now. We want some tappies doing, but let's have a listen. 